Hello everyone, this is Keith Ritual, and today I'm be doing a makeup tutorial. Um, you guys enjoyed them in the past of my everyday makeup tutorials, other than the ones I do at night. So I'm going to be doing this for you guys. Um, so yeah, and also what do you think of my new hair? I like it, I like the little try thing going on. So we're going to start with Urban Decay Primer Potion, and we're going to primerize. And I just use my finger, this is actually the old formula. I'm not a big fan of the new formula. I'm trying to find my new eyeshadow primer, but this is pretty much all I got right now. Because I have a few, but none of them that I've like fallen in love with. I'm just gonna tap that over my lid. Now I'm gonna decide, I'm going to do a neutral eye for the first time in like my life. Um, so I'm gonna grab the Naked Smoky. I'm actually gonna do a smoky eye using the Naked Smoky palette for the most part. And I'm going to just grab, let's see, I'm gonna grab the Sugar Pill flat brush, flat shadow brush, and I'm gonna take Combust, and I'm just gonna pat that all over my lid to sort of set the primer. Make sure it's nice and set. I'm gonna take the actual Naked Smoky brush, and I'm gonna be taking the color Whiskey, I'm using the bigger side, I'm just going to buff that into my crease, um, starting from the outside and doing little circular motions to create n a nice crease look. And because I have a larger, I have like large lids and large uh, brow bone, I'm going to blend it up higher than I normally would just so that I can really uh, expose my, like really create that like dimension. And I'm just going to blend that up. See, you've already seen me cut my crease. <laughs> now I'm going to take Enigma, my Melt Cosmetics, and I'm going to buff that into my crease as well, using the same brush. Because I like to create like a little reddish tone to it to sort of warm it up. You see? You can't really see that much on camera, but I just buff it sort of inside. I don't really bring it that far out. This creates, um, yeah, warmth. <laughs> and then once I'm done with that, I'm going to be taking the other side of the brush. And I'm going to be taking Black Market from Urban Decay and the Smoky Palette. And I'm just going to sort of put that right into the crease. I'm going to start this side. to really separate it out. And then I'm gonna take the other end and blend that up in to make sure it's not as harsh. There's our little crease. Now I'm gonna be taking whiskey again and I'm just gonna put that on the outside of my crease to sort of get it um, ombre it out a little bit just so we can get a little darkness on the outside. Um, if you had more of a flatter eye, you would do a little gold V shape. I can't, unfortunately, because my V would be, like, oddly shaped. So I'm just going to buff that out onto the outside, like so. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of black market on the same brush, and just sort of put it right on the outside. There you go. Now I'm going to be taking this Heaven and Hell. A brush, which is number N124. Um, I'm going to take Goldie Lux by Sugar Pill, and I'm going to put that right on my lid. Give it a little gold. Now, I'm obsessed with Sugar Pill, if you guys haven't figured that out yet by watching my videos. Um, I just can't get enough of it. I have, like, every eyeshadow by them. I'm gonna bring that right into the center of my eye to really open that up. And okay, so next we are doing is we're gonna be doing some liner. Where is my liner? There we go. And I'm gonna be using the Art Liner by Lancome in black. Um, I just got these recently and I'm actually in love with this. So we're going to do a little wing. And so let's begin with this. So I'm going to just what I like to do is pull out first so I can get that nice, like, where I'm going to put the wing. And then I go in on the top to create that wing shape. Uh, so. And 
then just go from the inside and pull out. And then fill that in. I'm actually going to go a little further out. Okay, now that we got both wings on, uh, we're gonna start with mascara. So what I actually do is I'm using this Tarte uh, lash curler first. And I'm just gonna curl these lashes up. Now we're gonna go with Tartlet mascara, the new one. And I'm just gonna put about one or two coats, just sort of combing it through, because you don't really need much for this one. Now we're gonna go to the brows, and I actually use three different brow pencils when I do my brows at the same time. Oh, that's not all three of the ones I use. Yes, it is. I actually use four. Okay, I was wrong. I use four. So usually I start with Spiked by MAC, and I just sort of draw in a general like stencil of where I'm gonna be putting my brows, because I did shave them for a while. I haven't shaved them in a minute. And I'm just going to sort of fill it in because they're still growing back in. Okay, we're gonna twist this one up. Okay. So I'm just going to comb that through. I use multiple so it gives it more realistic effect. And then I use medium brow, uh, brown by the brown. Def <laughs> then I use medium brown, brown def brow definer by Anastasia, and I just sort of go over it a little bit as well. You sort of comb it through the brows. And then if need be, I'll use the other side to clean it up a little bit. Sort of blend it all together. Okay, then I go in with Dark Brown by Anastasia, the brow definer as well. And I just comb a little bit more north to the outside. Then to finish it off my brows, I use Granite, uh, the regular brow pencil by Anastasia, and just comb that in wherever I see fit. Okay, now that the brows are done, um, I don't usually clean them up because I like to make them look more boyish if I do this kind of look. So I don't really mess with that that very much. But the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go in with my foundation. Now, the primer I've been using lately, I actually don't have officially. I've been using Dim Light by Hourglass because I'm just obsessed with it. I just haven't gotten around to getting it yet. It's probably definitely my next purchase. Um, so I'm going to take a little bit of that and just sort of prime my skin with it. Just really buff the room. I'm actually using Bare Minerals, and I'm using the color Natural 5. This is my sort of go-to for like very lightweight foundation. Now I like to apply it with this Bare Minerals brush, and I'm oh, sorry, not Bare Minerals, BH Cosmetics brush, number three of the White Collection, which I like, for some reason I like to apply my foundation with this. I used to like flat brushes and I like beauty blenders, but this is my current go-to. And I just sort of buff that into my skin. So now usually sometimes I like to color correct my facial hair, but lately I've just been like I don't really care kind of thing. Now to really make sure this is like nicely dot even, I do take my beauty blender afterwards and just sort of clean it up a little bit to give me that nice even skin complexion. Now I don't really have a concealer right now. Um, I sort of used it up. So what I've been using lately is actually my RCMA palette. Wait, where are you? My RCMA palette to apply my concealer with. And I've been using this color right here. I can't, this one right here to use my, as my concealer. And I just take a sort of angle concealer brush. I just sort of build it up because, why not? And then I just sort of put a little bit because I don't really have much darkness under my eyes. What I do is I get a little bit like right here. So I just sort of create like a little bit here and a little bit here. Now I recommend doing the triangle method, but on myself I'm a little weird. 
Like I know the techniques but I don't use them kind of thing. And I just sort of buff that in. Now I'm using very light concealer, but that doesn't matter because I'm gonna be darkening it up later. And I'm just gonna buff that out. Okay, now once that is buffed in, I look a little crazy underneath my eyes. Um, I take my NARS Stephen Klein palette and I usually use the top three colors. Now I already have one of these, which I actually have in my drawer, but I'm just gonna be using it from here today. Um, I have a lot of Laguna bronzers, I honestly, I don't know. So I'm gonna use the first one, which is actually um, Paloma Contour Kit. I'm trying not to blind you all. Paloma Contour Kit, which is these two. And I'm gonna use the lighter one, the highlight color. And just sort of lightly pat this under my eyes to really even that out so it's not this crazy white zone. And this sort of like makes it look more human. And I'm gonna bring it to the center of my forehead, just like lightly tapping, I'm not building it. I'm just sort of like putting it where it needs to go without putting too much. Then I'm gonna go in with the Paloma Dark Shade. I'm just gonna put a little bit underneath my cheekbone. Not too much. I'm not really into heavy contouring lately. I've been trying to keep it like subtle and simple. And then a little bit in my temples. And then a little bit under my jawline to make it so I have a little bit more of a jawline. Sort of blending that in. Now I'm going to take Laguna, the bronzer, this one right here. You can buy that separately. You can buy all of this separately. And I'm going to just sort of bring it into my temples again. And this is just to warm up the zone so it makes it look more like it's natural. And then again, underneath my thing, my neck, just sort of blending it down. I'm gonna bring a little bit down the sides of my nose as well to make sure my nose stands out a little bit more. And yeah. Now we're going to take this. This is Naked um, Illuminated Lit. This is actually sort of a brown one right here. And I'm actually gonna use the brush that comes with this. I just use it. I honestly have no reason why. And I sort of take it from my cheekbone and blend it up to just add a little bit of warm shimmer. I also bring it around the outside of my temples. And that's the only places I put this. Okay, and then next I use is I actually use the Hourglass Ambient Light Palette. And what I do is I use the second color, which is Incandescent Light. And I take this and I just sort of put it over my highlight zones, gently. You don't need much of this. This goes a little goes a long way. This is sort of like a setting powder, uh, but it gives you like a nice, clean, even look. And then I use the last shade, which is Radiant Light, and I just sort of blend that over my contour zones. So I'm throwing a lot in my contour zone, but I'm throwing it in fast, so it's not really like the high def like contour. Gives me a little bit of glow right up there. And then a little down the nose. I don't really use dim light that much unless I'm just doing a very like neutral quick face. Um, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to be going with my blush. And I've never used this one. I've never used this blush. This is Orgasm by NARS. Um, never had this on my face ever. So I'm gonna take the same brush because honestly I don't put enough product on there to like really mess with the product. And I actually like to take it from the apples of my cheeks and blend it all the way up into my temple. I know I'm weird. But it gives my face like a nice definition, a nice shape, if you will. It's actually, I like this. Now I'm gonna be pulling out my Anastasia Glean Kit. And I'm gonna be using several of these. I'm gonna first take Crushed Pearl, using the same brush again. Um, I'm going to that right on the tops of my cheeks. And then I'm gonna take Hard Candy and put that right where I put Orgasm, but just like on the center front. And then I'm gonna take Mimosa, the darker one, and I'm just gonna bring that in the back, right over here. And then a little bit of Mimosa up here in the temples. And then I'm gonna go back to Crushed Pearl because I forgot to do my nose. There's the highlight. 
I'm gonna take a little bit of Wet Lip and I'm just gonna put that on to really hydrate my lip before I apply any lipstick. Now, I guess we wait. I'll be right back. Now that that is set in, I actually wiped a little bit away afterwards. I'm gonna take lipstick. I'm going to use Jeffree Star's Posh Spice. And I'm gonna put that on, like I use the tip of the wand first to sort of trace out my lips. And this is really hard to tap during, so yeah. You see how I like to sort of trace it out? And then I put, just like sort of flatten the brush, use the flat end of the brush and sort of trace out the bottom. Push it together a little bit and then just clean it up as necessary. Okay. And you can actually, if you make a mistake, you can clean up the concealer, you can clean up your foundation, just whatever makes you most comfortable and um, cleaning it up. Um, although, I don't have to clean it up today. It went on just right. So, yeah. And then, actually, what I do to finish it off, sometimes if I feel like it, which is rare, I take a granite uh, Anastasia lip, a brow tint. I'm just going to comb that through my brows to just give it a little bit more of a thing. I know I do a lot of my brows. Brows are like that thing you need to like really focus on. And that is it for this look. Um, sometimes when I feel like it, I might add a, like an ombre to the lip. Actually, I might do that right now. I'm going to take Drug Lord by Jeffree Star. And I'm just going to tap a little bit in the center. I just push my lips together. And then I'm gonna blend that out with my finger because that's a little, a little lot. And there we have it. So as you can see, I only use seven to eight brushes to do my whole face because um, just it works. Now I'm counting it as seven or eight because this brush is double-ended and I use both ends. So you don't really need that many brushes to do a full look. As long as you have your essentials, you can do whatever you want. Um, and also if you have liquid liner that has a brush built in. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you all next time. Have a good day. Bye. I'm also counting a beauty blender because I forgot to add that in. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Also, I've been thinking about doing my, my makeup tutorials as live shows so you guys can actually interact with me as I do this because filming and editing these videos is, is extremely difficult for me with my time constraint being as makeup takes about 40 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes for me and then editing this is like so much. I try a new thing where I actually talk through the video instead of like over dubbing it and uh, speed editing it up. Let me know if you like that format better. Um, but let me know what you think of this all in the comment section below. Like this video if you enjoyed this little tutorial. As well as um, subscribe to my channel, of course. Also, if you'd like to see my previous Greta's haul, you can click over here. Actually, I'm going to make you click up here. Click up here. And then if you want to see my lipstick review tutorial, lip dick, you can click over here, up, up here. So, click these two out. And I will see you all next time, so have a good day. Bye!